Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, my name is Blackjack Johnny and hopefully in this tutorial I'll be showing you uh, a couple of ways that we can use cylinders to uh, add some detail to our map. Um, as you can see here I've just uh, gone ahead and just pre-made a couple of little things that uh, hopefully I'll be showing you how to uh, recreate for your own map. Um, I'm going to be moving pretty quick, we've got quite a bit to get through. so. Um, we've just got uh, plenty of things to be looking at here. I've got a nice round window up here if we were interested in doing something like that. Um, all of this stuff is made with cylinders. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, have a look and uh, see what we can do. So all I've done here um, is I've just drawn out a brush at the rough size I want this cylinder to be. And uh, I'm going to make sure I'm in my top view. And this is important for this. Uh, when I'm in my top view with the... Uh, Brush selected. I'm going to come to Patch Primitives Cylinder, and that's it. <laughs> that's as simple as that. We just made ourselves uh, a nice little cylinder there. Let's just take a look at what we can do. Uh, we can resize this uh, if we wanted to. Just uh, left-click dragging on uh, any outside ev edge of it, or uh, resize it. Uh, we come down into our front view, just using Control Tab. We can make it bigger, taller, shorter, thinner, fatter, whatever we want to do with it. Um, if I just press V on my keyboard to bring up the verts of this and let's see what we can do. I'm just going to select that top layer there and just uh, use Alt left click to drag them around. Or we could select the top layer, press R to enter free rotate and then just drag around and we can make a bend. Probably better to do that in a lower grid. Um, so we've got, we've got a couple of different sizes here. We can make them as big or as small as we like, including this little fella over here. Um, probably made this in a grid two. And we can use a cylinder like that to create some nice detail as I've made it down here just quickly I've created like a snaking cable or rope or something like that you've probably seen them in some of the stock maps and custom maps out there so this is how we go about doing that I'm drawing in my cylinder and I'm just going to take a copy of it while it's flat and I'll switch down to a lower grid because we're working in quite fine detail here I'm just going to line it up uh, as best as possible select your original uh, cylinder and press V drag out and select these verts and just use alt left click to drag this down you can see it's making a nice little bend in there uh, we'll just do the same to our second uh, cylinder here except we're going to bend it the other way and because we uh, lined these up when they were uh, flat and level we can now select both of these and press W and uh, we can create one long cylinder and then we just copy that and <laughs> line it back up with our other side and uh, we've just created a nice little um, snaking piece of cable rope whatever you want to make it that's totally up to you if you wanted to uh, obviously uh, something with tighter curves you just make a smaller cylinder and just um, add more it's as simple as that really and uh, we're going to use the same principle now we're going to come up here to these power lines um, i've just added uh, a couple of um, power line uh, models in here just to um, help us uh, get along with this and i've just uh, drawn in some cylinders uh, I've lined them up with these, I don't know, junction boxes, I guess you could call them. I've made sure I've uh, done it on both sides. <clears throat> uh, depending on the span of this, you might want to use more than one cylinder, um, just to give yourself a better curve. So once we've got it all lined up, just uh, press V on your keyboard, select those middle verts, and just drag them down. And baboom, we've got ourselves uh, a nice, nice set of power lines there. Um, Let's move on a little bit here. We've just got a very, very simple column here. <laughs> That's not meant to be anything special. It's just so you can uh, you can use it as columns. Very badly textured, I might add. <laughs> uh, we can also make our own uh, tree logs. Um, I'll show you how to do that now real quick. Uh, if we just take our cylinder and uh, we just texture it using one of the log textures found in textures usage wood or texture surface type wood. And now we need to make a top for this, uh, kind of like this one over here. And all I'm going to do is select the cylinder, and I'm just going to press Shift-C. And that's going to perform a process called capping. And as you can see, it's just created two discs uh, that um, fill in the uh, either end of our uh, cylinder there. I'm just going to select that wood texture and finish it off. So we can make our own logs, uh, add a little kink in it if you want for a bit more detail. Uh, and once we learn how to make those we can come over here and make our Japanese style sort of trench arrangement going on here um, next uh, we're going to take a look at making a little well uh, I've put a bit more detail into this one as you can see but I'm just going to quickly show you how we can go about making that uh, the basis for it anyway so you've got your basic cylinder there 
and uh, we're going to thicken this. We're going to press Control Shift T to bring up, bring up the thicken tool. I'm going to stay in Grid 8 and leave Seam selected. Just press OK, <laughs> and that's it. We just uh, created a very basic well here. I'm just going to texture this quickly. Select your inside and your outside, and you get yourself a nice, uh, I don't know, rural brick or stone wall type texture. Just use the natural setting for that. Make sure you get your top as well. And that's just about it. We made ourselves a nice simple well. You can go ahead and add more detail in um, for yourselves. Um, you'll figure out how much detail you can go into with this stuff when you start playing with it. Over here, I've just drawn in quite a big cylinder. I'm just going to show you quickly. There's no texture on the inside. If I just stop here and I press Control I, that's just um, inverted that texture. And we've just created ourselves a nice little cylindrical tunnel if we wanted to use it for a tunnel. If we wanted to use it as a pipe, we just uh, use the thicken tool, thicken that up. We've got ourselves a pipe we can use. Um, <laughs> see, I'm going to move nice and quick. Let's come up here to our round window. Um, let's see how we can go ahead and create this. It's nice and simple. This is just really um, basic. I haven't put a lot of detail into this. You could take your time, of course. So select your cylinder. Use the thicken tool again. I'm just going to thicken it to a grid 8 with seam selected. And for this particular case, I'm just interested in the seam that was created. I'm just going to select that and drag it over here. Um, as you can see, uh, it's not particularly round, but you can put more work into making it round just by dragging it out, resizing it, getting it the size you want. I'm just going to rotate it here so it's vertical. Uh, once I've got that in place, let's come around. I'm going to use the thicken tool again, Control Shift T. Uh, this time I'm going to thicken it to uh, grid 12. This is just so when we put it in our wall, it's sticking out a little bit bit of extra detail. When you uh, thicken these, uh, it does create some extra um, seams that we need to get rid of. We don't have to get rid of them, but they don't need to be there, so why keep them? So with that um, window created, now I'm just going to quickly show you how we can implement that into our wall. Uh, if you follow along with my arches tutorial, you probably recognize what's going on here. I'm just going to quickly run through it again just to make sure, um, in case you didn't. So what I would do is I draw out this brush and I'm going to line it up uh, with the rest of the brushes we drew in for our wall. And I'm going to make sure it covers at least half um, of our uh, round window here. I'm going to go to tech, uh, I'm going to go to patch simple terrain two and two. Press V on your keyboard to bring up the vertex and just add some uh, extra vert lines in there. Just uh, select, uh, drag out and select two vertices and press Control Shift A to add new lines in there. And then I'm just going to uh, drag out and select these individual verts. Use the uh, alt left mouse button to just drag them around. I'm just trying to hide the bottom of this patch um, in the arch, we, uh, in the round window we've made here. Um, and once I've done that, I'm just going to line it up with our outside wall there. Give it the same brick texture. I'm just going to come in quick here. You can see there's a difference between these textures. I'm just going to select the patch, press S, and I'm just going to use the light map setting on the surface inspector. And you can see that now. Well, let's just line those textures up beautifully. And all you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're just going to repeat this now um, and, until you've uh, filled it in. So that's uh, a very quick round window tutorial there. <laughs> I know I'm moving quick. There's quite a lot we've got to get through. Well, we have gotten through now. So um, that's just about it, really. Um, take your time with it. Practice with everything uh, we've just uh, had a look at see what you can create you know, using cylinders can be quite versatile just uh, have a practice see what you can make make something cool all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one